in a chair sitting in front of him with a tear running down Jesus' face, and the chair was empty. The problem with that picture was, was that you weren't in it. Amen? Yes. That's what he longed to do is spend time with you. Amen. The problem today is, is we don't long to spend time with him like we should. Amen? Right. So therefore, we see churches breaking up. We see people falling away from God. Amen? Because people aren't searching after God like they should. Amen? And I didn't come to put anybody down, but let me tell you, every one of us in here need a closer walk with God. Amen? Amen. Not just me. Not just Sister Sandra, but every one of us in here. Amen? Amen. I can tell you it's all because of God that any of us are here tonight. Amen. Amen. And he deserves all the praise and the glory. Amen. Amen. No matter what we're going through. Amen. We need to learn to praise him anyways yeah. through the good times and the bad times. Amen. Amen. Because he's still God. Amen. And he's always been God. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you, amen, I got a thought tonight, amen, that's running through my mind about, about the man that... Uh, Set by the pool of Bethsaida. Amen. I'm just going to kind of paraphrase this a little bit. Amen. But, you know, you can sit around and sit around and sit around and sit around or lay around, lay around and lay around or stand around and stand around and stand around to get your blessing or you can come and get it. Amen. Amen. Do you hear me tonight? Amen. The man by the pool of Bethsaida said he was in that condition for 38 years. That's a long time, Randy. Amen. To have a sickness in his body. Amen. An illness. Amen. To me, him, he must have been crippled or something because he couldn't get up and get in the pool when the pool began to stir. Amen. Amen. So it makes me want to think that something was wrong with his legs and his body, amen. He couldn't walk or something, amen. Because he looked unto Jesus. When Jesus came upon him, he looked unto him, and he said, he said, Lord, I have no one to help me get in the water. You know, we had to put one foot in front of the other in order to get to where we're going, Amen. And if we're going to do God's will, we're going to have to do it one step at a time. Amen? We can't count on someone else. I said you can't count on someone else doing what God's called you to do. Amen? You've got to get up and to begin to do what the Father's called for you to do. Amen? You've got to find out your purpose in this world, amen, and it's not just to make an American dollar, amen, and to get by, amen, because God blesses his children, amen. God wants us to be his mouthpiece, his arms, his legs, amen, be the witness that he's called us to be, to go outside these doors and be about the Father's business. Not just come into church and worship Him, but worship Him outside the door. This morning, yeah. I was working, and I, I pray, amen, I, I pray a lot more than some people know, amen. But I got to this lady's house, and I began to work, and, and, and we began to talk about another lady that she knows, and, and how that she had fallen and hurt herself, and, and you know what? She said, you know what? She looked up at me and she said, you know what, Brother Derek? She said, we ought to pray every morning before you start work. Amen. I said, well, sis, I do pray every morning, but if you want to pray, we'll pray right now. Amen? Amen. And we bowed our head right there in her backyard and began to pray. Amen? Thank God. Let me tell you, the devil tried to push me off the ladder today. Amen. He tried to make me fall off the roof today. I mean, every time I turned around, something was happening. But you know what? There's power in prayer. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you, amen, something tonight, amen, that we've got to do what God's called us to do. Amen. And if we don't, then we're the ones that's going to miss out. Amen. He said, Sandra quoted this Sunday, amen. 
said, For ye workers of iniquity, depart from me, for I never knew, never knew you. Amen. Why? Because they failed to do what God had called them to do. Amen. Amen. And that's to seek after him with all your heart. Mind, soul, and body. Amen. Yeah. Let me tell you, the Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Yeah. We are a people that make plenty of excuses, but we're a people who live on without excuse. Amen. Yeah. We Amen. should be a people without excuse. Amen. We shouldn't be the ones making excuses. Amen. But we should say, hey, God's good to me. Amen. Yeah. God's on the throne. Amen. He's always been there. Amen. Yeah. He'll always be there. Amen. He's always been on time in my life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I can tell you story after story after story of events of glory to glory to glory where God <laughs> has brought me to where I am today. Amen. It's because of Him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But you know what? I had to put one foot in front of the other. I had to be willing to step out. Sometimes step out in faith. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes it wasn't easy, Sister LeBron. Sometimes all hell would be breaking loose. Amen. But God expected me to do what he's called me to do. Amen. Yeah. Whether anybody else was going to hooray me, amen, hurrah me, or Come whatever, on. amen, I still had to do the will of the Father. Yeah. And, and so do you, amen. Then you know what Jesus said to the man, amen, after he's been laying there, and I'm not saying he was laying by the pool for 38 years, but he had that infirmity in his body for 38 years. After 38 years, I believe I would have done found the way to get in that water when it began to trouble, amen. But there was something holding me back, amen. And there's something that's been holding you back, amen. And I'm going to just go ahead and tell you, 99% of the time, it's not the devil, amen. It's yourself, amen. I'm telling you, there's a part of us, amen, that has to die so that he can live in us, amen. And we've got to learn to get ourselves out of the way. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Amen. Telling you something tonight, amen. The Bible says that we'll humble ourselves as a little child. Yeah. In due time, he'll lift us up. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Sometimes it's hard to be humble. Amen. Amen. Because you know why? Your flesh is roaring against your spirit, man. Your flesh is saying no when the Spirit of God is saying yes. Amen. The problem with some of us in here today, there's too many of us doing the no's and not the yes. Amen. There's too many of us making decisions that we should do something when we shouldn't do it. Come on now. Why? Because there's too much of us. Not enough. Not enough of him. Come on. Amen. There's not enough of us kneeling down at this altar. Amen. amen. And crying out for God to help. You know, I always, every day I have to ask God, help me, Jesus. Yes. Come on, man. I can't do this. Amen. And you know, it seems like when I go through a day and I hadn't cried out to him, amen, or for some reason I hadn't humbled myself to the point of saying, God, I need you to help. Something will come along. Something will come down the pike. Amen. Yep. And it will humble me. You know why? Because he's watching out for me. Amen. Yeah. I want you to know he's watching out for you. Yeah. But that don't mean it's going to be easy. That don't mean that you're going to always do things right. But when you humble yourself and kneel down before <coughs> him, he takes over. Amen. Amen. And he protects us. The Bible says that he's our Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Yeah. He protects us and watches over us and yeah. takes care of us. He provides our every need. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Why won't we serve him? Mm. I can tell you why. Just like the man that lay by the pool of Bethlehem. Amen. Amen. He was counting on someone else. Yeah. To get him in. Amen. Amen. You can't count on no one but Jesus. That's right. I'm here to tell you tonight, amen, 
that you've got to put your trust and faith in the Lord. Amen. You've got to take it one day at a time or one step at a time. I've been stuck on that one minute with little Johnny for a month now. Amen. Every time I turn around, I'm saying, God, you got to help me, God. God, you got to help me, God. Amen. Amen. God, I don't know what to do. Why? Because I'm going through a season. But you know what? The Bible tells us, amen, new levels, new devils. Amen. Yeah. So I'm graduating right now, amen. i got to pass the test. Yeah. And not only me, but you too. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, we began to grow. It was we was blossoming, I mean the church, when I say this, amen, we was on an uphill run, amen, and all of a sudden, it's just stopped. You know what we need to do? We need to press in. Yes, amen. amen. We need to seek after God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body, and ask God, God, what do you want me to do? Amen. amen. See, I can't ask God for you, amen. Yes, Come on now. And you can't ask God for me. We can pray together, yes. But God wants you to seek after His will in your life. Amen? Yeah. I say it's your life. Really, it's not. It's His life yes, in you. It is. Because you've been bought with a price. Amen? Amen. He paid it over 2,000 years ago. Amen? Mm -hmm. And what you've got to learn to do is live it. Amen? Amen. Bible says that we're to be a servant unto God. Amen? Yes. And not only unto God, but unto one another. Yes. Amen? Yes, amen. Do you hear what God's saying today? Amen? Do you understand, amen, that if you don't find out what God's will is in your life, you're going to wander around. Yep. Just like the children of Israel, because of their disobedience, because of a rebellious spirit, because of, uh, let's just say, slowfulness, amen? Look at Peter. One that run around with Jesus, Lamont. Run around with him all the time, hung out with him, but denied him three times. Right? Now why would somebody that knew the Son of God had a personal relationship with him, knew what he could do, amen, but deny him knowing who he is? Probably know him better than you and I. <laughs> Too much of us. Not enough of us. The man says, I have no one to help me and every time the tr water trouble. And Jesus said, take up thy bed and go home. Amen. What he said. I'm telling you, it's time to run home. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Run back to Jesus. Amen. Fall back in love with him. Amen. Yeah. Find your first love again. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. The wood's wet, dry it out. Amen. What do you mean, brother Derek? Get some more word in you. Amen. Let that fire begin to kindle again. Amen. Seek after him with all your heart, mind, soul, and body. And the Bible says you surely you shall find him. Amen. For some of you, this is a message tonight. Amen. Yes. Some of you are already doing it. Amen. But some of you ain't. Amen. I'm here to encourage you. I'm not here to put you down. But I'm here to tell you that we need to be a church that's on fire. Amen. Yeah. We don't need to be one to talking about when we was on fire. We need to be on fire. Amen. Yeah. If the fire's out, get it going again. Amen. Right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. The only way I know to do that is by spending time with the Master. Amen. Getting along with him. Because he's the one that takes us from glory to glory. Amen. And if you'll seek after him, you surely shall find him. Amen. God don't want sacrifice. He wants your obedience. Amen. Let me encourage you tonight. Amen. If you don't know what God's purpose is in your life, 
I'm not going to ask for a show of hands, but I feel there's some in here that don't really know what God wants them to do. Come on. They may think they know, but they don't really know. They hadn't that they hadn't really had that kind of an encounter with God that they can say, Hey, I know what God wants me to do. If that's you, I'd love to pray with you tonight. Amen. Amen. Let me say this though. I believe there's more in here tonight that knows what God wants them to do, but they're just not doing it. Amen. Amen. And if that's you, I'd like to pray with you too. Amen. And if you desire prayer tonight, and I didn't say anything, then, you know, you come on up, I'll pray with you too. Amen? Amen. Amen. This is all God's time. Amen? Amen. God knows your heart. Amen? You don't have to worry about what somebody else thinks. What you need to do is be concerned about what God wants in your life. Amen? Amen. Why don't you come? Amen? Somebody in here tonight? There's two, three, four. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sandra, come help me pray with me. Why don't you just make a line up here instead of kneeling down? Amen. I usually don't do that. Okay. If you like to pray with them, you come on up here and pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to do it like this. We're going to go down to here. And y'all just hold me. Like it? Love you. Hey, Caleb, stay up here with us. Stay up here with us. Papa likes company. Right. Well, that's it. Amen. Amen. If you like more, let's do more. Put, put them two in the pocket. Yeah, here. Amen. Got your ready, son. Yeah, I did. What did I 
Baba. The dog. Today. No, I ain't got my Mustang. I got, I got Moose's car. You got your Mustang? Huh? You got your Mustang? No, that's her SUV. I ain't got no Mustang. I got, oh, I got the truck now. I just bought it the other night. That's why I was making sure I got Moose's car. That was a murder. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I got something somewhere.